to access the, the, the alignment uh, holes there. The plastic will shrink, so if you bend the uprights and drill the holes, the holes won't line up if you cut these off afterwards.
We will now show how to make adjustments to the multi-motion corrective action joints, some tips and tricks for success using the joints, and review the components currently offered. The multi-motion corrective action joint can easily be set up to apply flexion or extension force by removing the outer casing and flipping the spring. The size small can be adjusted to deliver up to 3.4 newton meters or 30 inch pounds of force. The size regular can be adjusted to deliver up to 10.2 newton meters or 90 inch pounds of force. You can easily adjust range of motion using the flexion and extension stops. The size small adjusts in 14 degree increments and the size regular in 12 degree increments. The lever arm allows you to secure the joint in any position. This makes application of the orthosis to the contracted extremity easier and more comfortable for the patient. The joints can be set up to apply force in flexion or extension direction. This direction of force depends on the side of the body and the anatomical joint for which the orthosis is to be used. The tension spring is red on one side and yellow on the other side. This illustration indicates which color is to be used based on the side and the joint specific direction of the force desired. For example, for the right knee, to create extension force, the yellow side of the spring should face up. To create flexion force, the red side of the spring should face up. As you can see, the color to use will vary depending upon the side, anatomical joint, and direction of force required. Make sure when mounting the spring that the first inner coil winds around the narrow half of the axis and the correct side of the force indicator disc is mounted. In this case, the spring has the red side up, so the indicator disc with red tension path and inner circle should face up. As you plan the attachment of the joint to the orthosis, be certain the multi-motion logo will face upright, not upside down, on the finished orthosis. When you assemble the housing, make sure the retaining ring is completely seated into the groove that surrounds the axis. When connecting the uprights to the joint bar, make sure the countersunk holes face down toward the T-nuts in the multi-motion bar to prevent burrs. The uprights can also be mounted on the back of the joint. To do so, remove the T-nuts from the multi-motion bar attachment and reattach them from the top side down. Take care not to damage the T-nuts and make sure the threading remains intact. Position the bar attachment horizontally in a vise that has protective jaws. Gently bend the uprights. Do not bend more than 20 degrees. If necessary for alignment purposes, the free motion joint can be disassembled. Carefully loosen the blue cover cap. Remove the snap ring using corresponding size snap ring pliers. Documentation is so important for reimbursement purposes. This patient documentation form is included with every multi-motion joint. Be certain that you or the therapist record range of motion changes at each visit. 
There are two sizes for all corrective joints. Size small can be adjusted to apply torque up to 3.4 newton meters or 30 inch pounds, and size regular from 0 to 10.2 newton meters or 90 inch pounds. As a guide only, the size chart considers which anatomical joint and patient weight. For the wrist, generally the size small is used. For other joints, size small is suggested if patient is under 22 kilograms or 50 pounds. Size regular if over 22 kilograms or 50 pounds. There are two sizes for all corrective joints. Size small can be adjusted to apply torque up to 3.4 newton meters or 30 inch pounds, and size regular from 0 to 10.2 newton meters or 90 inch pounds. The corrective joints are offered with a straight bar adapter or a T-bar adapter. The T-bar adapters are available in 12 and 16 millimeter bar widths and choice of 12 or 22 millimeter offsets. The free motion joint is positioned on the opposite side of the corrective joint. They allow free motion from 135 degrees to negative 135 degrees. They are offered with a choice of straight bar adapter or T-bar adapter. T-bar adapters are available in 12 and 16 millimeter bar widths and choice of 12 or 22 millimeter offsets. The flexion and extension stops in the range of motion joint can be adjusted in 14 degree increments for the size small and 12 degree increments for the size regular. Straight, offset, and T-bar uprights are available. All are offered in 12 or 16 millimeter widths. All are also offered in choice of low or high rigidity aluminum.